Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Anthony Rumble Johnson. I am here with the winner, Anthony Johnson. And Anthony, you have a story of resurgence that's different from any other story in the UFC. As a welterweight, you did great. You had some great fights. You took some time away, came back as a light heavyweight, and you're probably the scariest guy in the division right now. Hopefully I keep putting fear in everybody's heart, you know? Um, I, I, I have been down a pretty crazy road, you know? The story of me is pretty uh, out there, you know? But I'm not afraid to admit my faults, and uh, I just want everybody to know that I love them, and thank you for accepting me back in San Jose. If this performance doesn't put fear in their hearts, they need to go to a doctor and get their heart checked. Because let's take a look at this beautiful uppercut here that started it all off. You tagged him before that. You saw that he was stunned, and you moved all over him. Tell me, what were you thinking the moment you connected? This whole time I was training for him, I was like, I got to hurt this guy really bad or put him away because he's a no-gary and they don't quit. So I just made sure I finished the guy. I just wanted to destroy him. That was it. Is, is this whole experience surreal for you? The, taking the time off and then coming back and two fights in, establishing yourself as one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous guy in this division right now? It's a blessing. It's a blessing, man. Uh, once again, if it wasn't for Dana White and the Fertitas, you know, cutting me at the, you know, when they cut me, I wouldn't be here right now. I do want to say this. I want to thank my boy Manny from DCF Bulls. I want to thank my, my manager, Glenn Robinson, and my team, the Black Zillions, and everybody out here who came out here tonight to watch this fight. Hope you guys enjoy it. Congratulations on a truly spectacular performance. Anthony Rumble Johnson, ladies and gentlemen.